ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all appropriate supervised ages, outside the dilapidated Castle Grey Skull and in front of the fangirling out Snake Mountain in the Hobo Jungle, I bring to you yet another Reno McDallas review. And guys, I've been waiting for this for a while. I'm excited. It's Royal Rumble weekend, which I don't have the network anymore, but shh, don't talk about that. It's time for Masters of the WWE Universe. We'll start off with Ultimate Warrior. And we'll go uh, through all the figures except for the Triple H. I have a special replacement for him. Uh, I just didn't really want him right now. Um, you know, these things are like 14 bucks a pop, guys. Oh, 15 bucks. You know, I'm not going to spend that much on these guys right now. So anyway, there's the Ultimate Warrior. Get a good view of him. There's the back of the box. Shows how everything works, like the old school stuff. And that's... Alright, so let's pop him open, huh? Oh, yeah. Old figures that you don't have to use a whole bunch of tools to get open. That's what I like. Okay. So he comes with a mini-comic, which is very, very short, apparently. I don't know, I guess they hook all together, I don't know. Don't know. Interesting. So, anyway, we'll have a look-see. If they do, I definitely have to get the other one then, right? Okay, so, here's his spear. Looks like an old school arrowhead on a, just like an old spear, right? Yep, cool, okay. Ah, look at that. Guess I do have to have something. Just a second, get out my murder kit. All right, that's the only thing holding him in, thankfully. Okay, so let's have a look. This is armor. These are probably removable. The elbow pads on Triple H were um, from that uh, two-pack Christmas set that they had. So that's pretty good, pretty good detail. Um, wrists, elbows, shoulders, head. And the knees, of course, the elbow pads are blocking that a little bit. But anyway, let's kind of... I didn't really want to take this off him, but let's have a look here at his uh, chest tattoo. So there it is. Just that. Almost, but with the stuff in front of it, it almost looks like uh, the heart on Jesus. Well, at least I thought it was funny. Shut up. Anyway, so that's Ultimate Warrior. Sitting there. Let's see how he holds his accessory while we're at it. Uh, do, 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 do. So how you guys doing? Oh, he does have one closed fist, one open fist. One open fist, one open hand. Golly. Be nice if I could English. Okay. There we go. There he stands. Alright. So next up, we'll do the demon Finn Balor. Here's his back art. Okay, okay. So we'll pop him open. Oh, there went his comic. Just a second. Let me grab that. Let me see why I'm messy my room is since I bump everything. Okay, there we go. Okay. There's that. I don't know, I guess they're just little real little mini comics that don't have anything to do with anything. That's what it looks like so far. Alright. Anyway, here's old Finn Boy. Okay, of course, they've got this all turned up here. Let's see if I can get it out real easy. If not, I may pause this. Nope, looks like it's going to come out fairly easy. <clears throat> okay. Oh, nice. So he's got several little tassel thingies. Whips, that probably what they're meant to be like. And then we will pop forward and pop him out. And uh, this one looks like it has a different kind of release back here. I'm not going to mess with it because he's not got anything under his chest, it looks like. Uh, thankfully, he's not the real fin, like real fin, or elsewise, uh, you know, we'd have a huge bulge here. Okay, let's check a look at that head sculpt. There we go. Pretty cool. I dig the armor. Let's go ahead and put on his little tassel things. Let's see if you can get multiples on. If you only do one at a time. I'm kind of wondering might be something where you could 
Let's see what the box says, huh? The box looks like it's just uh, one at a time. So, go ahead and throw those on. Throw on the black. And let's see if we can put a red over it or neck behind it. Something. Something spectacular like that. There we go. Well, they don't really fit that well like that, so can't do that. That's all right. I'll probably display him without them, to be 100% honest. All right, yeah, that's pretty cool, though, right? And again, pretty great for being for this new line. I'm loving it already. I'm excited for the next stuff. And I will be excited when I pick up that Triple H. Like I said, I just didn't have the money at the moment. Um, okay, and here's Sting. Super excited to hear they're putting him in this. And then he's got, it looks like, a Clawfuls type of stuff. So here we go. And this one, this box was damaged when I got it, but who cares, right? I'm, I'm opening it, so. That's why I went ahead and got it. Oops, and there went his claw. Yes! Okay, okay. There's that. Opens up. Okay. Oops, there goes his mini I tell you what, I'm getting awful at dropping these comics. Okie doke. And then there's Stag. Stag. Alright, there you go. Yep, there's that. This is all... Got all kinds of extra gunk and fun in it, so we will... Woo, that could have been bad. Good thing I didn't catch that by the blade, huh? Alright. Oh well, wouldn't be the first time I've been stabbed. Or cut, or burned, or shot at. But there will always be a last time, right? That's a creepy thought. Enjoy your morbid thought of the today on Reno McDallas Reviews. Okay, so, well, looks like this is one giant staff type of whip or something. Let's see. Pop that open a little better. Okay, look. Oh, she yeah, it's like a giant, like a nunchuck. That's hilarious. Okay, I'm sure some of you will uh, say, no, it's not actually like a nunchuck, sir. It's way too big. It's more like a such-and-such -such weapon that was in feudal Japan or, or uh, Three Kingdoms of China. I know this because I played the games, which is true. You probably do know this. So anyway, all right. Half this video is going to be deterring stuff. Um, here he is. Okay, like I said, he had a lot more stuff keeping him in place. Okay. Looks pretty darn good. I'm going to go slip his claw on. Of course, you're going to want to put it on his closed fist. It's like tongs. There we go. And we'll give him his nunchuck, which kind of fits okay. Eh, it doesn't quite fit great, though. I'm not going to complain, though. I mean, it's a great figure. I'm happy to see this type of stuff back and in style. So, okay. We're going to compare him to the original Skeletor. Emoji! Yes. Okay. So, of course, these have less articulation, but they are, looks like, in scale, in case you're an original collector. And then with the new He-Man set coming out, they are also in scale. Supposedly, all the parts are going to be interchangeable. Um, so, I would say probably so. We could probably pop the heads off and switch it, but I'm not going to do that right now. So, set old Prince Adam back up there. Yeah, I'm very happy with this line so far, but, uh, you know, they just don't have a lot of 80s representation, and I feel like they need to. Uh, that's why Camera Waifu did me a solid. I bought all the parts, and then she did the detail painting, as always, because I can't paint very well. And here is, which his head is just a little bit smaller. I should have uh, made some hair for him uh, back when Piper had the long hair, but I'm still very happy with this figure. Um, here is my custom Roddy Piper for this. I gave him a Mythic Legion sword. And then he's got the Terror Claw. This is made from the Triple H figure. Uh, she put the RP on the boots. And then she painted the head really well. So let's get a close look at that. Look at that. That is some good head. <laughs> ah, I went there. Anyway, yeah, this uh, this is what I want to see more of, you know. Uh, these figures are really cool. This would be a great way to, if we can't get the retros back, to get a bunch of the 80s and 90s wrestlers out and 
This is a great style for him. I can't wait for a Hogan. They better make a Hogan or I'm going to have to. I figured they probably wouldn't get to a Piper for a long time or make one. That's part of what inspired me to do this. So really, really pleased that Mattel uh, came out with this line. And I'm just really happy to get a new Piper figure. I'm going to put this custom on a shelf. I don't usually show off customs very much. But I'm really, really proud of this. She did a great job painting it. And uh, I did a pretty good job plowing out the figure. So... And this, like I said, this head's actually, uh, I got it off of eBay. It was an unpainted uh, cast that somebody had made. So, all in all, see how he looks next to another one. Just see how their heads are different. Yeah, heads are a little bit, well, no, you know, if he would have would have done some hair, he might have looked a little bit better. But I really like the paint job on it. I like him. I love him. It's a great figure. These are cool figures. And if you want to make a custom, like I said, this is uh, parts from uh, other Mattel Elites. And then... Uh, uh, like I said, the head I got off eBay, you can find it that way, and Mythic Legion Sword, and then that's one of uh, Triple H that came with the rings, Terror Claws. So, we'll sit you over here for now. Well, no, I'm going to move him out of the harm's way, because he's a custom, I don't, and I haven't sealed the paint yet, and we don't want him hurt in the ensuing chaos. Because now, let's see if any of these can actually be the master of the universe, and make Skeletor very happy by breaking down the door to Castle Grayskull. So, uh, feel the warrior spirit, kids, and uh, forget about all of his evil racism and hatred. Wasn't he racist or something? I don't remember. I remember he freaked out on draws and made fun of him for being crippled at one point. But anyway, you're supposed to forget that stuff if people die, but I'm a jerk. So anyway, here, ready? And go. No dice. Oh, poor Ricky Berwick fell off. Okay, Finn. All right, aim your giant package at it. Are you ready? All right, ready to bait through the door. Ready, and oh, no dice. And Stein, here we go, buddy. Drop from the rafters, and no dice. And since we got this Piper here, I'm not gonna use him. I will use my repaired one in 3000 Piper. Yeah, we had, re she repainted that for me. Camera Waifu is the ultimate painter. Thank you, Camera Waifu. And no dice there either. Well, everybody, I've really enjoyed making this video. Really excited about where this line is going, and this makes me even more excited for the new Masters line coming out. So I hope you had a good time uh, watching this with me and listening to me babble on and opening figures. Uh, I, I do a lot of this because I enjoy it, and I hope you do too. I hope to make some more fans down the road. If not, that's cool. I'm still buying figures. Anyway, guys, uh, until next time, remember, free the fix.